Hey everybody, today I've got a piece of the snowflake obsidian from Oregon, which actually came from my sister-in-law as a wedding present. Gotta love a family that understands you. This obsidian, it's got these little, tiny little spherolites all over the place, which is basically just little crystallizations of the, the rhyolite that forms obsidian. A super cooled version of rhyolite, anyways, that's what obsidian essentially is. Anyways, I've got it by face down pretty decently right now. It started out as a, a larger cobble. I got a bunch of nice size flakes off it, that's a really thick one. Some other beefy ones that are straight enough that I can make a, some smaller arrowheads out of them. This is what the piece looked like when I started. After I had worked it down for a little bit. I thinned it down a little more. And this is where I'm at now. So up to this point, I had just used hammer stones, mostly this one, my gray sandstone hammer, and this larger one to take off these big flakes. What I'm going to do next is use some antler direct percussion and thin this thing down a little bit more, and then... I'll move down to my indirect percussion. Basically what this is, it's just a piece of antler tied to this stick I have. It's probably about a meter long. The first time I ever tried to make a bow, that's what this thing was, so I have a little handle here. Anyways, that was never gonna be a shootable bow. But that's what my indirect tool is. I use this as the billet, or the mallet, to hit the antler. Pop the flake off. I'll show you some of that later. Once I get this thing thinned down enough, we'll move down to this. But for now, I'm just going to get set up. And I'll be right back. Before I got started on the big piece, I just made a tiny little point out of one of those flakes. I think I got one more hammerstone flake to take off here.
Made a couple mistakes there. Didn't mean to bring that platform down so much.
big overshot there.